Hi, buddy. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 7.1, the first one due in 2013. Woo! So, what we're going to do is we're going to define mole Avogadro's number, write molar mass to particles, calculate the mass of one mole of any substance, define the molar volume, explain the significance of STP, and learn the different particles that go through it. So, let's hop to it. A mole is a unit for amount. Amount basically is the number of particles. So these can be atoms, which would come from elements, ions, which are anything with a charge. So it could be like Na positive or acetate C2H3O2 negative. Molecules are entire particles made of covalent bonds like water, have exact amounts like Mickey Mouse. Formula units are formula units are reduced ratios of lattices of ionic compounds. So those are the things, remember, they come in like little, eh, geez, cubes, and but then they repeat and do it over and over and over again. Welcome to Bad Drawing 101. So A dozen is 12 of anything. It could be a dozen cars, a dozen donuts, or a dozen people. 6.02 of anything is a mole, right? So a dozen cars is 12 cars, a dozen donuts is 12 donuts, a dozen people is 12 people. A mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of anything. A mole of donuts is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd donuts. A mole of egg babies is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd egg babies. A mole of atoms is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Now, this only makes sense for atoms as a unit, unit choice because atoms are so, 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 so small. So why is 6.02 E23 such a big number? So why is we in paper 500 and we don't use a dozen? Because paper is small. Oh, no. Yeah, paper is small. So big number needed. Why is the gross of bottle rockets 144 and not a dozen? Because bottle rockets are small, and we need a bigger number because we use a lot of them. The smaller the thing you measure, the larger the bundle. Particles are small. This is shooting a bottle rocket out of a car. Don't do that because what happens is sometimes it doesn't light and it explodes. You lose your hand and your ear and all those other things. How many particles and white type are in one mole of water? So 6.02 E23 particles, but water is H2O. And because it starts with a non-metal, it's a molecule. One mole of gold. Gold is an element. So elements are atoms. Table salt is NaCl, which is a formula unit. 6.02 E23 formula units. One mole of sand. Now sand is SiO2, which is a metal and nonmetal again. So it is a formula unit. So it's 6.02 E23. Um, and one mole of carbon, which is an atom, 6.02 E23. Now, the one that's really weird here is a mole of sand, because a mole of sand would cover, like, the entire state of Indiana in, like, 300, no, that's like three miles high. So, entire state of Illinois, there's a mile, not much difference. Illinois is about twice as big, but three miles high for a mole of sand. Moles can be liters of gas, too. Okay. Now this is weird. Any gas at STP is 22.4 liters in volume. Not any gas. One mole. I miss. I typed that wrong. One mole of any gas at STP is 22.4 liters in volume. Make sure you remember that one mole part. Not all gases are 22.4 liters, but one mole of any gas at STP is 22.4 liters in volume. STP is the standard temperature and pressure. So the standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius. The standard pressure is one atmosphere of pressure. If it's not at STP, it's not 22.4 liters. You know you can change the size of a balloon. Uh, well, anyway, change the size of a balloon by, on a warm day, it expands. On a cold day, it shrinks. Mm -mm. What is the volume of one mole of neon gas at STP? One mole at STP, 22.4 liters. One mole of hydrogen gas at STP, 
one mole of any gas is 22.4 liters of SDP. One mole, so notice this is just one atom. This is two things combined, it's still 22.4. This is three things combined, it's still 22.4. One mole of carbon at SDP. Now, this is where I wrote you're a sucker. That carbon is a solid, not a gas. So, need more info. Like density. Moles can be mass too. So, mass is measured in grams. Okay? So, I say that little g stands for grams for mass, and it stands for go to the periodic table. So, on most periodic tables, the atomic mass is at the bottom of the periodic table. So, one mole of carbon, if I want to know the mass, is 12.01 grams. And I do want you to pull two decimal places. One mole of oxygen is 16.00 grams. One mole of carbonate, oh, I remember carbonate CO3 negative 2, would be one carbon and three oxygens, right? So I add those together, that's 50, 60.01 grams per mole. What is percent? Percent is always the part over the total. For example, how many people in your class were naughty and didn't get a present? Didn't get presents from Santa? Well, there's only one, and that's Paul. So Paul divided by 24 is 1 over 24 times 100. Oh, and I got out my calculator, and I can't find it. Calculator. Oh, I have to use my phone. I'm going to be so dumb and slow with this. Oh, well, it's 1 divided by 24 times 100. Oh, there's my calculator. It was right next to me all along. So, 1, 24, times 100. So, that would be 4.17%. Percent. percent is part of our total. Percent of a compound is molar mass divided by total mass. So, this would be the mass of N divided by O2. So, for N... N equals 14.01. When you go to the periodic table, go get your periodic table. Go get your periodic table. Okay, look it up online. Okay, nitrogen is 14.01. Oxygen is 2 times 16, which is 32.00. So nitrogen is 14.01 divided by 36.01 times 100%. Now, I want to warn you, sometimes people are tempted to do 14 divided by 32. Don't be tempted to do that. That's not a good thing. And then you get 38.9%. Okay, and then the percent oxygen, you can do um, either 32 divided by 36.01 times 100%, or 100 minus 38.9. And either way, you will get 61.1%. Barium hydroxide, I did this just so you could remember um, how many of each thing you've got here. So barium, there's one times, ooh, I don't know barium's mass. It's 137 point something. I wish I knew better. Um, let me see here. That's uh, one times... And I didn't remember action as I looked it up. O equals 2 times 16.00 is 32. Again, that's 2, 2 times that. And hydrogen, 2 times 1 is 2 times 2.0. Oops, sorry, 2 times 1.01 is 2.02. .02. And barium is 137.33. So my total mass of this guy is going to be, add them all up. So 137.33 plus 32 plus 2.02 .02 is 171.35. So if I do the percent of barium, is 137.33 over 171.35 times 100.
and that's 80.1%. Oxygen, 32 divided by 171.35. 18.6. And then, whoa, where did that scribbly line come from? And then hydrogen would be 100 minus those. 100 minus 80.1 minus 18.6. 1.3%. Hydrogen is usually a really low percentage because the mass is so low. Another way to find percent composition is from experimental analysis. 95 gram sample decomposes into 40.6 grams of carbon, 54.4 grams of oxygen. Find the percent composition of each compound. So basically, again, I've got this much carbon, this much oxygen, and it tells me this is my total. So carbon is 40.6 over 95 times 100. And oxygen is the part that's oxygen, 54.4, divided by the total, which is 95, times 100. So 40.6 divided by 95 times 100 is 42.7%. And 54.4 divided by 95 times 100 is 57.3%. And just eyeball it those two added together equal 100. Another one, a student collects the following data. Mass of calcium, where calcium is Ca. Mass of calcium oxide is CaO. What is the percent of each element in the compound? Now again, naming never goes away. That's calcium oxide. So calcium oxide must be the total. So calcium is the part that's calcium, 30.02, over the total, 42.28 times 100. So 30.02 divided by 42.28 is 71.0%. And then the oxygen part must be the mass of oxygen, just to show you that you can do it this way. 42.28 total minus 30.02, which is calcium, would give you oxygen. So as long as you label this stuff pretty well, you should be able to work this to about 12.26. And then, of course, 12.26 divided by 42.28 times 100. I know you could have just subtracted it, but just to show you that all of these things do work out together, and you can calculate one given the others, would be 29.0%. Moving on along. Review. Always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. Now you're going to figure out where that comes into play a little bit later. But um, little g means go to the periodic table. 6.02 times 10 to the third part is a mole of anything. Woohoo! This many particles are a mole of anything. Formula unit, FU, it's ionic. Molecule, which is abbreviated molec, it's the best version we have. Atom is an element. 22.4 liters equals one mole of gas only at STP. And this year will be an awesome year. Toodles.